My rares, baby, my rares! Ho oh, ho! Oh. You have to chop that thing up! Hey everybody, this is El Viejo Toro of The Fancy Action Now, and I'm going to do a little bit of a holiday special since October. The Fantober has been such a wonderful success. I am going to double down and do a video on Marares, 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 me Sega Jenny Rares. The ones that are in this collection would probably amount to about two grand, maybe, baby. And there's going to be a few in there. You're going to be knuckle biting, going Arr! just like I do when I look at Filberto's Vampire Night collection uh, uh, edition with like the light guns and the big box Vampire Night. I want that. Put that in your will, bro. I want that. A gamer should have that. It'll just wind up on eBay for like ten dollars. Your wife will be like, eh, I, I don't know what it is. It's like, what is it like ten dollars? I'll just put it on eBay for ten bucks, and you know, I'll buy us some flowers for his grave. Okay. So anyway, so look here. I got my Sega Jenny rares, and I've got my cell phone, and I've got my laptop here. And we're gonna do a little bit of a side-by-side. -side. Isn't that fun? Yeah! So we're gonna do a little bit of a side-by-side -side on the values between my collection app, which is obviously crazy uh, in terms of inflating value. So they have a most rare and a most valuable. So I took, I took examples from both categories of most rare and most valuable. No, I know I'm not showing them to you. I'm not showing them to you yet. But you get it all here on the Fancy Action Now, don't you? Don't you? Anyway, so uh, some of them you've already seen. I've already showcased the big bad, the big baddie. I mean, I literally bought this off of Toys R Us with my own hard-earned money back in the day, brand new. Wow. Wow. But I got some cool titles in here. And these are all my most rare and or most valuable Genesis titles. So I'm going to pull up my app here. Now, of course, in most valuable and most rare, some games are crossover in that categorization. They're in both categories. Uh, this one is number one in both categories. So most valuable, most rare. And if you pull it up on my app, it says 427 dollars. Now in most cases, the app is inflated versus what the reality is in eBay. Here we go. Sega Genesis game cartridge with case cover art, not original. Oh. Okay. Sega Genesis complete, copy of Musha, $549. Here's another one, $589. Here's another one, $799.95. That's $800. It's, it's basically $500. So there you go. Probably one of the most uh, valuable games in my collection in general. Musha, metallic, uniframe, super, hybrid, armor. Booyah. This game will make you important. Wow, thank you. You know, I always knew it would. So, I am a Musha owner. 
I, I do not own um, Snatcher. Uh, you know, I do not own uh, Mother uh, for, you know, the Nintendo. Um, so this this is my like claim to fame right there. That's like my big my big brag right there. Boom, Musha. The next one it has in terms of most valuable is <laughs> I know somebody out there really wants this. <laughs> Troubleshooter, and it's got the craziest. Let's see if I can get a little like. There you go, troubleshooter, man. Look at the girls on there. It's just a little bit cheesy. It's a lot of it cheesy. It actually looks like somebody airbrushed that on a van or a t-shirt. I mean, it is definitely airbrushed. This woman, especially the brown haired woman, I mean, that is some, that is some NASA space station hair you got going there. I mean, it is crazy. It is crazy. Oh, the light's actually better back here. There you go. So, Troubleshooter by Vic Tokai. Vic Tokai has, is one of the uh, developers that is, um, has a couple sought after, really sought after games. So this is complete, Troubleshooter on the Sega Genesis. There it is. So fantastic, Troubleshooter, Sega Genesis. Wow, all right. All right, so the value of Troubleshooter on the Sega Genesis, um, this is 186 bucks. 189, first one, 189. Here's a complete copy for 165. Sega Genesis Battle Mania 2 Troubleshooter Vintage English. So what is it, is there like a second, is there like a part two? Yeah, Battle Mania 2, Troubleshooter. That you can pick up. Um, Red Box and Game. 30 bucks, 30 bucks card only. Oh, wow. What is that? Genesis stickers on the game. Cart only with stickers all over it is 68 bucks. Battle Mania 2, a Troubleshooter again. That's 30 bucks. There's not a whole lot of these troubleshooter auctions out here. 189 again. 150. 175. So my app is actually in line with the reality of it. Uh, so troubleshooter, one of the other most valuable games in my Jenny collection. Next one. Castlevania Bloodlines. And, you know, it's amazing to me because you would think that this game would be in such a high print. Castlevania, Castlevania Bloodlines. Bloodlines. Totally complete. Right? Yeah. Castlevania Bloodlines. This one... Um... 132 dollars. For Castlevania Bloodlines by Konami on the Sega Genesis. Castlevania Bloodlines Sega Genesis complete authentic tested 189. So that's that's pushing the average there of the app by 50 bucks. So this 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 is the one that's absolutely totally complete. Some of the other ones I don't think were complete. It's got it's got the registration cards. It's got the warranty registration card and everything like that. So, I don't know if I have a warranty registration card. Let's have a look. No, it's just the manual. Just the manual and the game. That's it. So, between 130 and 180 out there in the world. Castlevania Bloodlines. Wow. All right, so the next one is... Contra Hardcore. That kind of surprises me too, because it's like again, some of these games that are like massive prints, massive print runs, you just you're just surprised by that they hold their value. Anyway, there's the the black and white Econo Manual Konami. You know, one of the biggest games on the Genesis, and this is this is your manual. 
This is like what you get with your meal at on an on an airplane. Terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back. Cause it's not complete without this. Oh, can I please? Can I please? Oh man. Okay. Oh, there's another little card in here. Oh, this is the little registration card in here. Oh wow. So cool. The registration card is in here. So it's totally complete. I'll put that registration card in this one. They're both Konami. So what? Anyway, so there you go. Contra Hardcore. Contra Hardcore. Very nice. I don't like these. I don't like these paper. These paper boxes. But I mean, they don't. They don't look bad. It's just you know you always worry about. And these. These are like freaking bulletproof. That's what's great about those. But anyway, yeah. Sega Genesis Contra Hardcore is in competition with Gunstar Heroes. Yeah, they're like, hey, don't get don't get uppity. We're Konami. We're gonna make Contra Hardcores for the Genesis, and they did. And it's a very good game. It's a great game. So um, here's the back of the box. It's got some kind of like tropical camouflage on it. Very cool. So anyway, um, my app is telling me um, ninety eight bucks. 98 bucks. Uh, here's a guy who's got a complete registration card, everything, 70 bucks. So, a little off. Now, here's a, here's a guy, complete inbox, Contra Hardcore, 89. So, there's one 89 auction, but this guy's got one in good shape for 70 bucks. So, a little inflated on the app, on the app in terms of the value of Contra Hardcore and the paper box. Yikes! All right, next. Uh, Gari's, Gaiaris. Gaiaris. It's Gaia Rees, Gaiaris, yes. So it's the Sega Genesis Gaiaris, and it is totally complete. Oh, yeah. This is a game right here. This was so impressive to me back in the day when I bought this. It's a renovation title. Renovation has to be my favorite developer for the Genesis. By far, hands down, every game they made is gold. Every, he should own every one. I, I, I own a lot of them, but I don't own every single one. I would love to own every single one. There's, a, there's one or two that are amazing that are out there that I need to get. But I don't know if you can see it, but like the big, like the big boss villains that take up, and that was a big thing when it was getting reviewed, is like the en the boss enemies take up the entire screen, they zip around the entire screen. Uh, it's got it's got amazing cover art, one of the best cover arts there is, and as a bonus, they're so impressed with the cover art, it has a cover art poster, which I've had for years and years, decades. Decades, really. There it is. There it is, the Gaiaris poster by Renovation. Woo! Is that not awesome? Is that not awesome? That is something. That is something special. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. All right, so we'll put the Gaiaris poster. So many times as a younger man was tempted to hang that on my wall and just resisted that urge. So now I get to enjoy Gaiaris in its complete form, and I'm so, so happy about that. So... Looking at Gaiares, 98 bucks as well. I think this may command quite a bit more, and it's a shooter. And as we know, shooter fans will pay like any money for a good shooter. No, Gaiares complete, 75, 99. 80 with no manual, complete 110. But you're floating in and around that $100, $100 price point, for complete. If you want to complete 100 bucks, I think the guy with the 110 might have the poster. Unopened factory sealed for 250 bucks. If you're that obsessed. This guy's got the poster. 100 bucks flat. Yep, there you go. So honestly, the app was actually pretty close, pretty close. Pretty close. Next one is another Victokai. 
And I do have the manual somewhere. It's not in the box. Uh, I do I do have it somewhere. Uh, don't ask me where. It's lost in all the boxes of booklets and all the rest of it. But Mazen Saga Mutant Fighter. And this is another game that has you transform. You start off as a little guy with amazing powers. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. And then you get to um, a boss will harass you, like a big giant boss will come and harass you, and then you transform and you fight the boss one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, there's nothing really quite like it on the Genesis. It's a very unique game. If you have to get it in a, um, a repro, totally recommend Retro Gamer and Backups. Retro Gamer and Backups should have Maze and Saga Mutant Fighter as a uh, um, repro, reproduction card. So I recommend it. Buying this game as is, though, is probably not, does not make sense. But if you're a Jenny fan, you're a side scroller beat em up fan, you're like a giant monster kaiju fan, check out Maze and Saga Mutant Fighter. Awesome game. Awesome game. Now, this is. $101 on the app, $75, $74.99 complete, manual and case. Cart only is $30. Bucks. Cart and case for $55. Some guys got cart only for $99. Wow. Uh, this guy's got complete Maze and Saga Mutant Fighter for $150. So he's pushing the average. Here's $85. 99 complete. So 101, what's this? Good? Oh, factory sealed Maze and Saga for 245. Dude, if you love this channel, go check out that game. And my mission will have been complete. Truxton, dun 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 dun. 95 bucks for a copy of Truxton. Now again, I do have the manual. Um, I have a box with just like comics and manuals and stuff. It's all in there, but game, the game of beloved by Classic Game Room. Complete, 110. Card only, 55 bucks. Here's a card only for 38. Wow. Vapor Trail. He's got Truxton and Vapor Trail for 100 bucks, card only. Truxton complete, $152.99. Complete in box, cleaned and tested. $152. Brother, you're pushing the average. Here's another one. Truxton Schmup. I don't like that word schmup. It's shooter to me anyway. I don't know why we ever left that word. Um, $170. So Truxton's actually kind of pushing the average up. So uh, I think a more a baseline meta price for this Truxton would be um, a buck and a quarter. So this one's actually pushing the average. Booyah. All right, what's next? Arcus Odyssey. Again, I do have the manual. It is somewhere, believe it. It's another renovation title. It's very similar to... Um, uh-oh, I've actually got a sticker on this game. It's, um, what did I want to say? It's, uh, it's like a gauntlet, but an RPG. And it was kind of the thing back in the day. Uh, it is one or two player co-op. So kind of like gauntlet in the sense where, you know, again, you've got a warrior, a wizard, uh, a rogue, uh, you know, a thief, that kind of stuff. And uh, it's a good adventure. It's got good cutscenes. It's renovation. It kind of, it's a top-down, you know, kind of like a Diablo vibe. Uh, so, yeah, Arcus Odyssey. Now, Arcus Odyssey, 85. Card only, 25. Yep, Arcus Odyssey complete, 90 bucks. Here's another listing, 90 bucks. Card only, 45, 30. Some of these card onlys aren't bad if you just wanna have the cart and play the game. Uh, here's another complete, 100 bucks. Boom. Arcus Odyssey was based on an anime, I believe. Most rare, Rambo 3 is one of them. 
And this game is showing $88. Yeah, let's check it out. Rambo 3. This is a very good game, by the way. For the Genesis, for the time, Rambo 3 was a really, really, really good game. Totally complete. I used to love to take my manuals out and look at them and stuff, and, uh, you know, that's why I have them separate. You know, they're in a box somewhere. Believe it, I don't throw them out. And I don't ruin them either. I just I was just loved looking at them back in the day. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you've got these big scenes where you're like almost like Dynamite Duke vibe going and you know, you're blowing up the helicopter and it's a, it's a good game. It is a good good game. It has a lot of really cool scenes in it where yeah, you do, you know, the running around and stuff, but you know, there are scenes where you're using the bow and arrow to shoot a, you know, the, the helicopter or a tank or a vehicle and uh, it's just it's just awesome. It's great stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a good game. Rambo 3. Rambo 3. We might be looking at like 30 instead of that, what I said previously. I think it's like, I think it's like 33 or 30. Here's complete, $42.99. $39.95 complete. Factory sealed 150. So there you go. It is in line with my app, so that's good. All right, next is Splatterhouse. This game is worth major bucks. Even cart only is 63 bucks, and that's what I have. Cart only. <laughs> I got this out of a bargain bin for a buck. And this cart alone is worth uh, 63 bucks, according to the app. Splatterhouse 3, complete, 200. Game and case, 130. Splatterhouse 3, complete, 175. Cart only 80. Cart only 90. Cart only 70. So honestly, you can get 80 to 90 bucks for this alone, cart alone. Boom. And that's what I got. <laughs> so, uh, Grenada. One of the more rare titles. Again, renovation. We've had a few renovation titles here. Arcus Odyssey, Garies, and um, two Victo Kais. And then here's Grenada. Yeah, and again, it's somewhere else, but... There's cart and case, but I do have the manual. Believe it, believe it, but Granada is one of the best tank, it's a tank shooter, but it is a, it is a shooter. It is a shooter, and it's one of the best ones, believe it or not, it's one of the best ones on the Genesis. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Granada, 70 bucks. Granada, cartridge and case is 50. Complete 85, complete 90. So, yeah, it's kind of pushing the average. Here's somebody complete 120 bucks, complete $119. So this is actually worth a little bit more than the app is saying. The market is a little, it's a little bit more in demand, probably because it's a shooter and it's a good one. And it's renovation. Renovation just dominated, in my mind, the Genesis. I got one left uh, to go over, and believe it or not, it's considered rare. It's 10 out of 12 on the rare rarity scale, according to this application, but it's not worth a lot, 31 bucks, which means I'll never get my money out of this game because it was $59.99 new when I bought this thing. I got a little funk on it. I'll never get my money out of this thing. Anyway, it's populous in the paper box, and it is far from mint condition. It is far from it. But I still have everything. Everything is in there. The Genesis seal of approval. I'll go through the top. So there's the big honkin' with the, <laughs> the thing that does nothing. It's just an affectation. Electronic Arts, back in the day, when they weren't evil, 
It's got a B sticker on there. What's the B mean? I bought it new, so you know that was an inspector sticker, basically. And here is the manual. 16-bit <laughs> sizzle! Voodoo Con, the Marshall Spirit. Ugh. Zany Golf. And Lakers versus Celtics, the NBA playoffs. It was actually a pretty big deal back in the day. So there's the Populous Manual. It's a little nice little with the little promos on the back. Get the sizzle, baby. 16-bit sizzle. This cartridge, God, it just looks like it was newly minted. Still has the inspection sticker on it. So funny. So the box is the box. The box is beat up. Tore up from the floor up. It is not going to get mint in box ever, but at least I have the box. It is complete. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Licensed by Sega Enterprises Limited for play on the Sega Genesis system. Booyah, Populous. So let's go see what people are playing. Populous on the Genesis, card only nine bucks. Totally complete. Complete in box, rare, 37 bucks. Like when they say rare. Now here's one, totally complete. Oh, it's sealed? Sealed is 70 bucks. Sealed is 70 bucks. So here's one for 65, but it's really clean. And here's one complete in box with registration card and clear plastic protective case, 40 bucks. So you, for $40, you can be the proud owner of a complete, clean copy of Populous. Mine is worth about $20. And I paid $59.99 because I just thought this is the most innovative game I ever heard of. Boom. My rares, baby, my rares. <laughs> All right, so there's my rares, my Sega Genesis. I'm sure this is a long video. Oh, it's a 45-minute video. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to chop that thing up. But anyway, these are my rares Sega Genesis. Uh, and this has been LVA Arturo. Fancy action now for the people. Peace out. <laughs>